welcome. We are Two Finger Spirits. We got the camera shy camera guy. Back here as usual. We got the live studio audience. Woo! And I'm Brandon. What are we doing today, buddy? Today we are doing, this is our second juxtaposition video. We are putting the Willet Four Year Estate Rye against the New Rift Single Barrel Rye. The first juxtaposition we, video we did was the New Elk against the Larceny. You're right. The New Elk versus Lar Larceny. You and I ended up liking the Larceny and the studio audience ended up liking the... The Elk. The Elk, you're yeah. right. Yeah. So this is a blind. We had the live studio audience pour this for us so we can't see. All I know is one's red and one's green. I and it's not even Christmas. All right, which one do you want to sniff first? I sniffed the sniffed. I sniffed it the green first. All right, I'm gonna sniff the green first too. Oh man, I think I already know what's what. Of course, I always think I know what's what. If you watched our old elk and uh, Larceny, you'll yeah, see. you shoot about fifty fifty. <laughs> wow, wow, they're both mm. so good. Wow, they do both. They smell completely different. Like I'm getting. There's similarities for sure. I mean, they're both well, rides. They're both around the same proof, right? Because the family uh, is 110, the will is 111, and the new riff is 105. So pretty close. Pretty close, right? Um, this is a four year. I don't believe that one has a statement on it. Oh, at least four years. So they're both four years and right around the same proof, 105, 111. Yeah, it does get much closer than that. Yeah. They, they do have your typical, I smell both of them, they both have their, your rye spices, right. your typical rye scents. I'm not going to go into mash bills right now because nope, you can go watch it. our other videos. We we already reviewed each one of these, so if you want to see yeah. in depth, more in-depth review, you can go watch those. This is just to kind of see which one we prefer. Quick side by side. On the nose. On the green or red? I'm getting a... On, on the, the green or red? On the green, I'm getting more of... Like that, that plum raisin smell. You get plum that, raisin that I always associate with a Willet, but I'm not saying it is yet. But it's that smell yeah, that chocolate. I really enjoy. Chocolate with it. You always think it's a chocolate bomb. It does. I do get the chocolate. I'm getting more chocolate on the red. I'm getting more chocolate on the red as well. Is that right? Yeah. Makes me think that that's the Willet, but I don't want to jump ahead too far. I'm gonna uh, sip the green first. I'll do the same. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's good. That's a chocolate bomb. That is so good. That's a chocolate bomb. It's got a great mouthfeel. You get the raisin, the plum, the chocolate, the dill, yeah. the rye spice, some green tea. The mm. finish goes on for a long time. Yep. Coats the mouth. It thickens the saliva. Oh, that's good. That, I, I love it. That's I love a it. finish, too. In our uh, review of the 2020, uh, 2021 whiskeys of the year for us that we've reviewed, these two were our, our favorite ryes. Yep, they're part um, of it. And uh, the, the seagrass. The, the seagrass as well. So the only difference with the seagrass is finished. It's finished. And it's a 119 proof. So I'm not sure if it's fair. It wouldn't be. Whatever, whatever one wins with this, we'll put up against something. It might be the seagrass or it might be one of the Knob Creek Rise. That's a good idea. Knob Creek Rye, I think there's 120 proof, so that brings it up to proof where maybe we could put the, if that wins, we'll put it against the seagrass. Right. But let's get back to this. All right, I'm tasting the red now. I've already cleansed the palate. You got a little sore bag? Mm-hmm. Mm. Only chocolate in the red. Only chocolate. Only chocolate. Okay. It's not as complex as this one. No. I definitely get the chocolate. The mouthfeel isn't as pleasant as this one. It goes to black tea on the finish. Doesn't last as long. I'm going back to the green dot. I the that. green so far, so far, I like better. The noses were both. Pretty equal for me. I like the nose on the green one better because I like the I like the smell of the dried fruit. I like the, the plum. I like the raisin smell as part of my rye profile. I'm gonna go for another sip of the green. I just cleansed my palate. We go into the green again. Go back to it. Mm. 
Now I'm getting like the chocolate, the plum, the raisin. You know, if you smell the your your, your arm, you get back to your ground zero. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's good. The smell of your arm? No, the smell of my arm's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The, the green is good. I'm going back to the red. I just cleansed the palette again. It's probably hard to go back and forth, back and forth, but kind of have to. But cleanse the palette. I'll give it a second. That green is outstanding. Mm. All right. So here's my take on it. They're both excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Side by side, I like the green dot better. I like the nose better. I like the palette better. I think that it seems like it's more complex than the red dot. And I, just, I thoroughly enjoy this green one. Okay. I don't, I want to say the green is the Willet, but you know what? I like the green better and I'm not saying it's a Willet because I like better. I'm, I think it tastes like what I thought the Willet was. I predicted I was going to like the Willet better. I predicted it, but who knows? I, we need to find out we what could be wrong. Is. But so, I'm, all right. I cleansed my palette with the water. Yep. I reset my nose. I'm going to start with the red first this time. Okay. Go for it. I made my decision, so you go. I made my decision that way. I want to go over this one first to see if I make the same decision. All right. I'm getting like a purple Jolly Rancher on the nose now. On the red one? Yeah. Definitely some chocolate. Black tea, raisin, a little bit of bitterness in a finish. And you know, some people add a couple drops of water and I wonder if taking the sips of water and leaving the, the water in my mouth is changing the whiskey Maybe. at all. I was taking a sip of water and then waiting a second to kind of swallow all the water, even the, the residual. Cause that could change it, you know? The little bit that's left in there, mixing it with the sips, you know, it, it's definitely going to change it a little bit. So, I wonder if there's a better way of tasting that's mm. not rinsing with with water. If you know one, let us know in the comments. This nose. I'm sorry. They're both so good. I would be happy with either of these pours, but I do prefer the green, which I want, I'm excited to find out what this is. So, wow. Can you hurry up and make your decision? This green is fantastic. They're both really good. But I think this is quite a bit better. Well, let's find out what it is. I think it's a little bit better too. Are we ready for the reveal? We didn't put stickers on the bottom. We got to reply on the, the studio audiences. She, she, she thinks she knows. All right, so the live studio audience, which is the green dot? Will it. Yeah, Will it. as we predicted. And I, would, I can confidently say I'm happy. That it's a flavor bomb, man. It is so it's good. It's so good. And I, but I'm happy that we chose it again. It's a it's a great pour. It has to be one of the best rye's out there. It has to be. It really is. And I will put that up against any other rye. And I would love to hear recommendations of something you think the Willet's better than. Oh, or something better than the Willet. Please tell us in the comments if you think there's something better than the Willet. I've had the seven year. This is the four year. Mm -hmm. Seven year was good too, but this four year is right on point. Well, you know, the goal of 2022 is to find something better than the will. You're warrior. finding the new I'm going to find it. I wanted to put it against the, the Knob Creek 120 or one of the Knob Creek Rise because those rides are fantastic. Or if someone has another idea of what to put it up against, I'd be happy to do it. As long as we're comparing something similar, we're, we're on board. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you, everybody out there. We really appreciate your support. Let me give you a little quote. I was reading the Plato's Republic, and the quote is, Vice in abundance is easy to get. The road is smooth and begins beside us, but the gods have put sweat between us and virtue. Plato's Republic. Everybody, thank you for your support. No idea what you just said, but cheers. Ah. Cheers. Thanks, everybody.